You know, it amazes me how some people are relying on their good works to get them into the kingdom. They think that by doing kind deeds to others that that is going to be enough to excuse them from the lake of fire. I think some of them are failing to realize that a lot of individuals in these end times are doing good works, okay? But a lot of those same individuals are missing some of the commandments, some of the Ten Commandments. They might be keeping most of them, but they're missing maybe like one or two. And that is going to be what does them in. Uh, a lot of individuals that think they got it all figured out for the most part, these individuals that are looking at, you know, people like myself wanting me to do more for others just like they're doing for others or can do for others, they don't realize that once you get the Ten Commandments down the pat, you're going to be put in a situation where you can't help others as much, okay? You're only going to be able to help yourself. You might be able to help others in the minute, minor ways, but for the most part, you're going to be focused on yourself, okay? You will only be able to focus on your walk more than helping others. Uh, and, you know, but they don't realize this because they they haven't really looked at what the requirements are. Once you start keeping some of the commandments, they're going to, you know, force you to leave this Babylonian system that most people are relying as a backbone to helping themselves and others. And most are not going to be able to do that. They're not going to accept it, right? It's going to, it's too much for them to do. So that's what's going to be um, what gets these people in trouble. That's what's going to condemn them. Uh, their lack of insight, their lack of consciousness, um, you know, the reality that they don't have everything down a pat like some of us do. So, you know, in their eyes, we're the ones that are doing something wrong because of the position we're in. But in our eyes, they're the ones that are deceived because they don't know any better. And, you know, the only way to convince them is until, you know, they die and they're shown, they're given their judgment. And they're shown that, look, you didn't make it. You missed out on this and this other commandment, okay? And I heard an individual talking about this yesterday that, you know, like Christians aren't doing enough. They should be helping others and da-da-da. Like, it reminded me of... What it says in in the New Testament that Savior is gonna tell some some of these people that are you know prophesying, doing good works, uh, healing people, doing all these other things, right? However, they forgot to look after themselves, their soul. He tells them, "Depart from me, you that work iniquity." Other verses read, "Depart from me, you that work lawlessness." Meaning those that do not keep the Ten Commandments, the Torah, the law, right? So they don't have the spirit of the law or they didn't use the spirit to cement the Ten Commandments in their life accordingly. So if they're missing one, that's enough to snuff them out. So he's going to tell them that. They're going to be like, what? How, how can you tell us that you don't know us when we did all these wonderful works? But he's going to tell them, look, depart from me, you that work lawlessness. That was that's This is what other versions say. For that word iniquity, they have lawlessness. And yeah, if you look it up in the Strong's Concordance, in the Greek, iniquity means lawlessness. They weren't keeping the commandments. Okay? You could keep nine out of ten. If you're missing one, that's it. You're done. So they're relying on their works, their efforts, uh, as a means to get through. When in reality, they're supposed to be giving up all of that. They'll be in a low condition, low estate. They won't be able to help others. They will only be able to really sustain themselves if they keep the Ten Commandments. They'll realize this. But they're blind, so they're Pharisees, you know. They attack those that know better than they do, but they don't realize this because they're idiots, okay? They don't know what the hell is going on. So, yeah, if you're relying on, you know, good works to get you by, if you don't want to adapt to the Ten Commandments, then I'm sorry, you're not making it. 
that's what I'm saying that a lot of a lot of people out here they're they're toilet paper they you they're letting themselves be used to help others and whatnot but they're not doing themselves any good a lot of them like I said sharing prophecies and all this so you start helping the elect really the elect are the ones that are benefiting from all of this because yeah like I said the elect are wise they're getting all the help they can get from others realizing that they really can't do much for others because they're keeping the commandments so for the most part the walk is you know work out your own salvation your own salvation with fear and trembling uh, you only have enough for yourself to make it through so they're the ones that are getting you know all this help from these other individuals these other individuals thinking oh they, they probably won't make it they're always depending on help and all this and that one is the opposite they trick themselves into thinking that doing their their good works and some of the things that the bible says charity to do and stuff like that but their souls are not are not you know they're not regenerated they're they're still corrupt in us in some type of way so by not keeping one of the commandments they they are exposing themselves to sins that will manifest in their life at some point to be sins that they will not overcome because they weren't keeping one of the commandments right so that's what's going to get them to realize that man you know i guess i guess i'm not going to make it if i'm still dealing with this so that's going to con convict them in their consciousness uh and yeah they're, they're deceived so they think that by helping others and not looking after their own souls you know checking the commandments and seeing which one they're missing in their life the main ten commandments I'm talking about here uh yeah they're not gonna they're not gonna make it uh they're gonna die spiritually or whatever whatever righteousness they have they're gonna hit a relapse they're gonna go back to doing the, there's something in in their life that they're not sharing with others that they're still involved with they're probably sweeped under the rug or have hidden in the closet it's gonna come out or it's going to weigh on their conscience and as you know the end time draw to a close they're going to realize that look they were playing themselves all right uh your works are as filthy rags scripture says okay so yeah it's good to do good works too you can get punished to some degree for not doing good works but if you want your soul to be saved you're going to have to keep his 10 commandments and if that means you know laying back not helping as much other people then focus on your own walk i cannot stress that enough Forget about trying to reach others. No, you focus on yourself. You got your own issues, right? Deal with them. Then if you can help others, fine. But if all you could do is help yourself, then do that, okay? Uh, you can help others by sharing information and stuff like that because that's what people need. You know, it's your behavior that's going to get you there according to the commandments, okay? The instructions written in the Bible. So, yeah, people's uh, good works, it don't mean nothing. You still have to do them, but the real good works... That you need to be showing in your life are the Ten Commandments, one through ten, the main ten, the ones people cannot argue about. They, you know, no doubt whatsoever that these are the commandments to keep, and not just that, but when you look at the dietary laws and all that, it's another issue. So it all ties back to the Ten Commandments. Everything outside of the Ten Commandments that you think doesn't matter, it all ties back to the Ten Commandments. Trust me. They are the Ten Commandments. You can open them up to other things like dietary laws and all that. Other. So it all connects. But anyways, yeah, what I'm trying to say here is, is certain people out here are deceiving themselves. Maybe they want to do kind deeds and all that stuff because in their conscience, they're guilty. They're like, you know, they got issues, sins that they haven't dealt with. They can't overcome. So that's that's a way to ease their conscience that, okay, I'm still a good person. I'm this and that and yeah they're good people they're not like i said bad people they just they just have a chink in the armor that you know you cannot have going into the kingdom because it, it, it opens up and you know you could fall into greater sins so you got to keep things tight you got to be sharp um yeah these aren't the times to be focusing too much on others you got to focus on yourself uh and yeah when you have time then yeah you could help others, you know, interact with others and stuff like that. But you really got to watch your step in these end times, okay? Um, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Your works are as filthy rags. 
Uh, he will tell many in that day, depart from me, you that work lawlessness, those that break his commandments. Um, and yeah, they're deceiving themselves. Doesn't matter how much how much good works you have in these end times, what healing you're doing for others, you know, what prophetic messages and stuff like that, whatever type of works you're doing for others, it do, it will not amount to anything. It doesn't mean spit if you're not keeping his Ten Commandments, all right? So keep that in mind, all right? So with that being said, I'm out.